Hello students, welcome to our math class today. I believe that you are doing great at home and enjoying every lesson that we are bringing to you. Today our topic is still measurements. Last week we studied about how we can measure length. Today we're going to look at how we can also measure capacity, okay? So first we'll go through some very important keywords that relate to measuring of capacity okay well the first thing that we're going to look at is volume okay so this is volume volume is how much space a 3d object takes up okay so when let's say you have a cup okay so this is an object that we have so these are like a jug a cup let's say a bowl and that of a small piece of glass so how much these cups or these containers can hold okay either you are putting in water or you are putting in rice or anything whatever that it can hold is what we can we call it the volume okay so that is the space within that particular 3d object or that cup or container that you are holding right our capacity units calculation would be in liters and that of milliliters okay so what is a liter a liter is a measure of capacity and volume that means that is uh the unit okay the standard unit of measuring a capacity or that of a volume so whenever we are calculating or measuring volume it means that we are going to use liter okay so that will be a measure of capacity and that of a volume okay so liter is actually big okay like when you buy a bottle of water you see that it is like one liter or 1.5 liter okay so when you break liter down the smaller unit that you get becomes a, a milliliter okay so milliliter is the smaller size of a big liter so an example is we have this this jug here this jug is measured in millimeters upwards and then it gets to liter okay so this is how we can do the reading or the understanding of this measurement over here we have 500 milliliter okay so 500 milliliters is small that means the amount of water in here is very small when it gets to 1000 milliliter it is equal to one liter okay so a milliliter is a unit of capacity equal to one over thousand liter okay so it means that means one liter is equal one thousand milliliters so one thousand milliliters is equal to one liter so the actual heading of our capacity is the amount is the amount a 3d object can hold so when you combine everything together and then we come to the capacity that is the amount that is the total amount a 3d object can hold okay so this is about our capacity we have known about volume known about liter and that of milliliter and then we also have looked at a capacity now i want you to turn your book to pages 50 and that of 51 that is where we're going to do our first activity okay so with the first activity this is how it's going to be we need to look at these kinds of jug that we have here okay so these are three jugs and uh, they are filled with water here this jug there's a stone inside one there is an apple inside and then this one there are 10 cubes also inside okay now there are questions here 
that will ask you about the changes that will happen as and when you put in a stone or an apple what will be the volume of water inside there is it going to increase or is it going to decrease okay and then over here making a liter is also about some students who are using cup and jug to fill a bucket so your activity here is to read these questions and then tell the changes that is going to happen or how effective is it going to be if you are using a cup to fill a bucket or you use a jug to fill the bucket okay so we'll continue with the discussion of our first activity to get good understanding so that we can uh, complete it successfully and move on to our next activity i'll see you in our second video hello students welcome back to our second video our lesson is on capacity and it is also a subtopic on measurement okay on the first video we studied some key words that was about volume liter and milliliters okay so on this video we're going to look at how we can uh, look at the quantity of liquid to measure that means we are looking at capacity well now we have this uh, chart with us the chart is showing quantity of liquid to measure okay so these are three examples that we're going to go through for you to understand how you can look at quantity and separate them or kind of expand them okay into smaller units for you to be sure of what you're doing so first of all we have 950 milliliters of milk so what we we're going to do is that we're going to expand the quantity into a smaller unit okay so that we know that if we add them up it's going to be a total of that particular quantity that we are dealing with okay so basically it's about expanding the, the total quantity of capacity that you have measured right so the first thing that you need to remember is that one liter okay so one liter is equal to 1000 milliliters okay so this is one liter is equal to 1000 milliliters so now if you have 950 milliliters of milk and you want to spread it on this chart it means that we can actually get like five one of 500 milliliters okay so if we take 500 from here it's going to remain with 450 so 450 that means we can have two of 200 milliliters that will give us 400 milliliters okay so we're going to remain with only 50 50 milliliters so we can put our 150 here again you can also choose to spread them either use the 100 column or you use the 200 column whichever way you use when you add up you need to get 900 and 50 okay so this is 500 this is 2 times 200 that will give us 400 so that will be 900 and then 1 times 50 will give us 50 and we add we get 950 so that is how the calculation is done now we have 5 liters of petrol so we know that every 1 liter is equal to 1000 milliliters so what we can do is that we can say that with 5000 okay with 5000 we look at a number that when we multiply with 500 it's going to give us 5000 liters right so that means we can choose 10 here so when we multiply the 10 plus 500 it's going to give us 
5,000. Okay, so 5,000 milliliters is equal to that of 5 liters. You can also choose to spread, use 100. You find 100 times 100 or 500 times this one will give you the amount that you are looking for. So you can decide to choose any of these categories that when you multiply is going to give you the equal uh, volume that you are working with over here okay here we have 51,100 ml so what we can do is that we can choose which one can we choose so we know that 1000 is equal to um, 1000 millimeters is equal to one liter okay so we can choose that we have 51 51 liters here okay so 51 multiplied by 1000 will give us 51,000 liters and then we have our 100 which means 100 okay so we put our one here so 51 is here and then one is also over here and that will give us our total 51,000 100 milliliters okay so once we finish with this one we're going to have an activity on that that will be our second activity and it will be posted to you so that you can try your hands on how you can look at quantity of liquid uh, to measure okay thank you i'll see you in the last video Students, welcome back to our final video. Our lesson is on measurements. We have looked at capacity today and we have looked at some keywords such as volume, liters and that of milliliters. Okay, so I believe that you have these words now and you now understand them and you can use them as and when it becomes necessary for you to use them, okay? You should always remember that um, one liter will always equal to 1000 milliliters and then this chart has also helped you to kind of do expansion of a total quantity whenever you do your measurements okay so next week we'll be looking at weight as well which is also part of our measurements that will be the end part or the end subtopic of our measurement okay so you can read ahead about weight how we can use skill and other things to measure weight as well so it's all about measurement i'll post uh, your homework is actually from the challenge book page 37 it's about liter label search okay so when you open your book like this you see page 37 at the challenge book okay so these are uh, pictures of items that we are used to in our daily lives okay like a bottle of water a fruit juice a squash uh, milk and then cooking oil and then laundry detergent these are things that we know them in our lives or you can look for them in the house or you go to shop and then you look at them okay what you have to do is that you have to complete this table first you write the names of these items here to complete the other cells or columns that you have here and then in your own way per what you know already you give an estimate estimate means you are giving a guess okay that means uh, you look at a bottle of water you know that maybe it is 500 ml or it is one liter you just make a guess okay looking at the size of the bottle here and then you write your your cup your, your quantities here okay okay then the next thing is now you have to look for these items and look for the actual size okay the actual size and then you put the actual size over here so that is your homework for today thank you for joining class and i'll see you next week for weight. Bye.